Welcome back. The current life expectancy for Nigeria in 2023 is 55.75 years. Uh, that's a 0.57% increase from uh, last year. And this narrative has been a cause for concern. Now, the issue of longevity has been brought to the fore, with the life expectancy significantly lower than the global average. Factors contributing to this low life expectancy have been said to include inadequate access to health care, high infant mortality rates, and a prevalence of diseases like malaria and uh, HIV and AIDS. Socioeconomic factors such as poverty and income inequality often cause limited access to health care and nutritious food, which can impact overall health and longevity. It is safe to note that efforts have been made to address these issues and government initiatives, international aid, and health care reforms as some of the ways Nigeria is working to improve life expectancy and address longevity concerns. How far that has gone still remains to be seen. Uh, we're now being joined by a healthcare advocate, Dr. Dolly Mwokeji, who will be taking us through the journey for total wellness and issue of longevity vis-a-vis uh, -vis life expectancy in Nigeria. Good to have you with us, Doctor. Thank you very much. So, in essence, uh, what is longevity and what does uh, living long entail from a healthcare perspective? Okay, so living long entails that you have um, your brain, your body, mind and spirit functioning well, even onto your later years. All of them will function together. And um, health-wise, okay, health-wise, um, longevity is two-pronged. One, you have the long lifespan and health lifespan. Now, for health lifespan or healthy lifespan, it means the number of years or proportion of years you've had without diseases. So that is the sum total of it. You don't have to live a long life while you're burdened with sickness and disabilities. That's not... That's not what we are advocating. We want a long life that is devoid of diseases or disabilities. So what does living long entail? Okay. Living long entails you being sound. Your health being there for you mentally, spiritually, and body-wise, physically, into your later years in life. You have to be, even your, including your brain, your brain has to be optimal for you to say that, oh, this person has lived a long, fulfilled and healthy life. Very good, Doctor. Let's talk about genetics. Uh, how do they keep individuals healthy within the realm of longevity? Okay. Um, genetics play only 20% role in lifespan. Diet and lifestyle plays 80%. So living long is actually in our hands. Each one of us has inside our genes what we call the epigenetic clock. And now this clock determines whether we live long or not because it is the clock that determines the expression of the genes we carry depending on the environment you find yourself. Now, in order for you to live long, these genes or this epigenetic clock needs to go slower. So I'm here to talk about what you need to do to make sure that this epigenetic clock goes slower in your life. Go ahead. Okay, fine. So our genes sense the environments that we put them in. Basically, the first environment is genetics, which is 20%. You can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Secondly, followed by diet. What you eat and how you eat it your body senses all of that. And when you eat right, there's a, a gene in the body that is activated called the Satuli. It is like a switch. It flips it on and off. But the beautiful thing about epigenetic changes is that it can be reversed. It's not genetic. It doesn't do any change to the DNA. So whatever it is that you're doing wrong, the, immediately you start doing right, the switch flips back. Yes, slowing down the clock. Yeah. All right, so how can we achieve this? Because a lot of people will be curious to know, because you say if you can flip the switch yes. on and off, yes, as the does. case may be, how can we achieve this? Okay, basically we have um, factors that affect um, longevity. First, genetics. The second one is diet. We can't overemphasize on that. What you eat should be adequate for your body. The next one is exercise. The level of stress, like I 
talked about the last time I was on this um, platform. Yeah. Stress, chronic stress, you being exposed to chronic stress also shortens the longevity, slow, uh, making this clock to go faster. Another one is sleep, 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 sleep. In the pursuit of wealth and money and happiness, we often don't give sleep the adequate attention it requires. What I advocate everyone to do that is hearing me today, at least go to bed one hour earlier than you used to do. It will, do a, it will go a long way to making sure that this epigenetic clock that I'm talking about is slowed. Another one is also um, your social network, connecting. It, is, uh, it has been proven that if you connect with a friend a day, it decreases the death rate by 20%. So that is very, very important that we should do it. We are meant to be living in a community. We're not an isolated um, human being. So interacting and developing strong social network also helps with longevity. Now, you, you heard about the life expectancy ratio we just uh, read out. And uh, how concerned should we be you know, uh, as, as a nation regarding our health care and longevity? We should be very, very concerned. And that is one of the things that probably prompted me to come to this show. People need to know that um, Nigeria is lacking behind, not just in Africa, but the world at large. Our average human life expectancy is one of the lowest. And um, I think we should all um, rise and do something about it. I'm not talking about government now. There's a lot that is in our hands to do to make, or at least try to make us have um, longevity as long as we can. All right, before we go, um, I would like to find out from you because what you're saying is true. But if we were to apply to the real world, especially in Nigeria, or for those that live in cosmopolitan cities like Lagos, where the drive to always meet, or um, always meet, or uh, always make ends meet. That's right is at the forefront of everyone's mind yeah. that they that they want to make the paper yes. and they do not have time to be able to probably get as much sleep as they want to yes. pay attention to diets and the rest of them yes is there a hack of some sort to this to do that <laughs> <laughs> well do well the hack there is that we are created to be a conscious um animals we, are, we don't do things unconsciously like animals. So now that we are conscious that we hold the key or the clock to longevity, these are the things that need to be at the forebone of our lives. Health first before every other thing. Yes, you need to get the money, but what is the use of the money if you get it and then spend it all uh, looking for health? But if the landlord is after you, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes, thank you very much. Health, health is key. You're right. Dr. Dolly Mokeji, uh, general practitioner, health advocate, would like to thank you for your thoughts on longevity. It's good to have you with us. Thank you for having me.